Someone went up to a madman who was weeping in the bitterest possible way. He said, Why do you cry? The madman answered, I'm crying to attract the pity of his heart. The other told him, Your words are nonsense, for he has no physical heart. The madman answered, It is you who are wrong, for he is the owner of all the hearts which exist. Through the heart, you can make your connection with God. In Sufism, it is the heart that becomes one of the key terms discussed by most of the Sufis. Considering the fact that one Hadith could see reports, neither my earth nor my heavens could contain me, whilst the heart of my believing servant does contain me. The Sufis spent and were encroached in thousands of pages to elucidate what the heart is. In Laktabli, Sufism itself is said to be the journey of the self or the journey of the heart. In other words, the heart is the pivotal key in the spiritual journey. Hence, the Sufis are the ones that know the heart and its subtleties the most. One of the Sufis that tackled and closed the heart in a detailed way was Hakim At-Tirmidhi. He was born in the 9th century. He was a Hadith scholar and a jurist in the beginning. In his intellectual journey, he then felt unsatisfied with his own knowledge. This took him to the Sufi path, bringing him to ascetic life in which he spent his rest of life walking on the spiritual path. By this time, he wrote many works pertaining to human spirituality, spiritual psychology, and in particular, the stations of the heart. His work on this matter is exposition of the distinction amongst breast, heart, inner heart, and intellect. His other towering work was Khatamul Awliya, which three centuries later gave much influence on Ibn Arabi, especially Ibn Arabi's breakthrough answer to At-Tirmidhi's question in Al-Jawab Al-Mustaqim Amma Sa'alahu Anhu Al-Hakim At-Tirmidhi. One thing that is most closed over was the fact that At-Tirmidhi's wife was a mystic in her own right. The spiritual connection between At-Tirmidhi and his wife was so strong that she used to dream teaching dreams for him which we talk about in another occasion. In Atemidhi's mystical view, the heart is the place or the instruments by which the Sufis can obtain and absorb knowledge of God. It is clear that not only is the heart the place of love and affection, but it is the place of knowing and testing also. This point is also alluded to by most of the Sufis. But the uniqueness of Atimidhi's viewpoint is his exposition of the stations of the heart. It is crucial to bear in mind that the stations of the heart in question refers to the metaphysical entity, like the spiritual heart, not to our physical or biological heart. Thus, the stations of the heart points out the interior or inner stations. In describing the stations of the heart, as an inner entity that is metaphysical, he employs symbols such as eyes, houses, lambs, fruits, and other sensory objects to depict it. Employing sensory depictions, he deeply explicates the structure of the stations of the heart, each of which has distinct but complementary functions. He specifically says as follows. The word heart is similar to the word eye, since eye includes in its meaning that which lies between the two eyelashes, such as the white and black part of the eye, the pupil and the lights within the pupil. Each of these entities has a separate nature and a meaning different from that of the others. Nevertheless, some of them assist some of the others and the benefits of some are connected with some of the others. Moreover, each one on the outset is the basis of that which follows it on the inset. Thus, the subsistence of the lights of the pupil depends on the subsistence of the other entities of the eye. Similarly, the word homestead is a comprehensive term for what is contained within its walls, such as the cage, the corridor, the courtyard in the midst of its buildings, as well as what is within these buildings, such as the closet and the storeroom. Every place and position in it has its own nature different from that of its neighbor. Atermizi divides the interior hut into four stations, which he then associates with the stations of God's light namely Islam, Iman, Gnosis, and Tawhid. The four heart stations are Sotr, Qab, Fu'ad, and Lup. First, Sotr, or breast, 
It means something that precedes another thing, such as the tear that precedes the night, and a book's cover that precedes the pages of the book. In line with its meaning, a tear means it puts pressed at the first level because it is the source of all affairs and actions. Functionally, pressed serves as a space where the heart and the priest or appetite meet, which is also the place of reason. For him, breast is like the white of the eye or like the space of a house. Epistemologically, breast is exoteric oriented knowledge, that is, knowledge of Sharia. Quotes know that the breast is the place of all knowledge which is acquired only through study, memorization, efforts, and pertaining oneself by means of listening and relating, whether it be the Quran or the Hadith or something else and that such knowledge can be characterized by forgetfulness. Moreover, Sotr is a gateway for disturbances, temptations of the evil, and spiritual disease. In the Quran, it is asserted, the evil of the stealthy whisperer who whispers into the breasts of mankind. Thus, he concludes that breasts is the abode of envy, lust, and desire. And it is related to the soul commanding to evil. Additionally, Soto is a place of expansion and constriction. In the Quran, it is said, Whomsoever God wishes to guide, he expands his breast for submission. And whomsoever he wishes to lead astray, he makes his breast narrow and constricted, as if he were climbing to the sky. Second Kalp or the heart. The heart is the second station after the breast which is in it. It is like the black of the eye or the living room of a house. Like a well, the hut is the source of the spring and the breast is the container of the spring. Furthermore, according to Atilmidhi, the hut is the place where faith, inner knowledge, and intention are born in shorter. From that, he refers to the hut as the root and the breast as the twig, where the twig will be strong if the root is strong. It can be concluded that the heart, according to Atirmidhi, is the place where the light of faith resides, in which lies a sense of solemnity, piety, love, pleasure, confidence, fear, hope, patience, sufficiency, intention, and so on. The heart is also a source of knowledge called inner knowledge. Nonetheless, the heart is also the place of blindness, not the breast. One of the Quranic verses emphasizes this. Truly, it is not the eyes that go blind, but it is the hearts within breasts that go blind. And blindness in this verse refers to the hearts of the disbelievers because theirs are covered to see the light of faith. Quote, if, however, the heart is illuminated with the light of God and the light of faith, God assumes its care and fills it with love and fear. On the other hand, if the heart becomes filled with the darkness of unbelief, doubt, and hypocrisy, God appoints for its owner a Satan, who assumes his care and closes the heart with the lock of abandonment. Third Fu'ad, or the inner heart. To Atimidhi, the inner heart is the third station after the heart. It is like the pupil of the eye or like a cupboard in the house. He asserts that the inner heart and the heart have the same meaning as a place of inner vision. However, functionally, he still distinguishes them. For him, the inner heart is the place of inner sight, while the heart is the place of knowledge. So it is said that the inner heart sees where the heart knows. If sight, or vision, and knowledge are integrated, something magnificent will be opened. A gnostic sees God by this inner heart. The Prophet once explained that the station of a believer is according to the level of his Ihsan, and Ihsan is related to his inner sight or vision. The vision is located in the inner heart. Quote, then he revealed to his servant what he revealed. The inner heart lied not in what it saw. By the inner heart, a believer sees God's love. The difference between the inner heart and the heart is that the inner heart sees God's love while the heart only knows it. So it can be said that if the inner heart has not seen, then the heart will not be able to see the benefits of what it knows. Atilmidhi then depicts it as a blind man with knowledge. He cannot use his knowledge at all when asked to witness or see something because his eyes are closed to see. Epistemologically, the inner heart is the place of the light of gnosis. 
quotes know that since the inner heart is the seat of seeing, it is only the inner heart that sees whereas the heart knows. If knowledge and seeing are combined in someone, the unseen word becomes the object of seeing, and the servant gains certainty through knowledge, contemplation, and the reality of seeing faith. Sight is also attributed to the heart, although the heart sees only with the light that is within it. Fourth loop or intellect, the deepest one. According to Al-Tirmidhi, intellect is related to the light of Tawheed, where that light is the most perfect light and the ruler over other lights. Then intellect is like the greatest mountain and the axis that will not disappear and move. The light of Tawheed is the essence of religion to which all lights refer. Therefore, the light of Islam, Iman, and Ma'rifah will not be perfect except with the light of Tawheed. Quote, the intellect is a balanced light, a planted field, and an imprinted intelligence. It is unlike the compounds which enter into the self, for it is a simple light, like elemental things. This intellect, which is the same as the faculty of reason, is planted in the ground of Tawhid, and its soil is the light of uniqueness. It has been irrigated with the water of God's kindness from the sea of glorification until its roots have been filled with the lights of certainty. For God undertook its cultivation and with his power attended to that directly without any intermediary. Know that the intellect is possessed only by the people of faith, who are the elite servants of the All-Merciful, and who have turned towards obedience to the Protector and turned away from the Self and this word. God has clothed them in the dress of piety and has averted from the all manner of affliction. He has called them the possessor of intellects and has favored them with his address. He has admonished them in various ways and praised them in much of the Quran. It can be concluded that each station of the heart described by Hakim at tirmidhi is a metaphysical entity that is substantially one, namely the heart itself. All of those stations are related to the spiritual, soul, knowledge, and human levels of knowledge. According to at tirmidhi the relationship amongst the stations of the spiritual heart is a means for humans to know God. In other words, the stations of the heart are human spiritual planes that serve as a key instrument in their spiritual journey. It includes all human potentials, namely physical, metaphysical, and spiritual, through which humans can feel, taste, think, know, and be close to God. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.